Welcome to the screencast using Compendex for researching engineering topics. Compendex is a large database with almost 30 million citations or records. These citations provide access to articles in journals that are scholarly or peer-reviewed, books, conference proceedings, and even dissertations. For the purpose of this demonstration, let's say we're looking for research on the effects of fertilizers in groundwater. Our key terms or phrases that we're going to use to do this research are fertilizers, effects, and groundwater. Let's begin our search. Begin by entering in your first term, and this time, instance, it's fertilizer. Notice that I've kept it all lowercase, and at the end of the R in fertilizer, I've inserted an asterisk or a star. And what this will tell the database, it will look for both the plural and singular of the word fertilizer. My second term is effects. Again, I can use an asterisk, but remember, it will also bring up effective. So I might want to remove the asterisk and just put on the word letter S. My third term is groundwater. Now, groundwater is a phrase. And when you're searching Compendex, if you have a phrase such as groundwater, you'll want to use quotation marks. Without using quotation marks, the database will search for the word ground. It will also search for the word water, not necessarily ground water. You can also limit things by date, but when you're first beginning a search in the database, it's a good idea just to keep everything at its default. So once you're happy with all your keywords or phrases, click on search. So the database will look through those 30 million records and retrieve the items for you. The most recently published item will appear first in the list. So our very first article was published in November 2006. The name of the journal, Soil and Tillage Research, and the name of the article is Effects of Fertilizer Placement on Solute Leaching Under Ridge Tillage and No Tillage. So I'm going to actually look at this citation a little more closely. Click on the word abstract, the link. It actually gives you a summary or an abstract of the article itself. It's a good idea to look at the abstract for a couple of reasons. The first is, is the article worth reading or not? And the abstract will let you know that. The other reason for looking at the abstract is but to use other keywords. What you don't get clearly here is the complete article. It just gives you the title, the author, and where it was published. To see if the full text is available, what you want to do is click on this Get It New Alberta button at the bottom of the page. A dialog box will open up and let you know whether this article is available full text online, as it is here in Elsevier, SD Elsevier, or is it available in the library catalog? Maybe we have it in print, or maybe have it electronic in a different location. So because this online full text link is available, I'm going to click on it. And it should take me to that specific article in this journal, Soil and Tillage Research. So here we are, Effects of Fertilizer Placement on Solute Leaching under Bridge Tillage and No Tillage. It gives me the abstract again. It gives me an outline for the article and it gives me the article itself. So if I like I can email this article to myself or I can save it in the PDF format if I like. 
I'm going to close this window, close this window. To get back to my list of results, I want to click search results button up here and it will take me back to my list of my results. So that is using Compendex. Remember, if you don't find anything using Compendex, you might want to do one of a couple of things. Make sure you're spelling your terms correctly. And you also want to change your keywords or your phrases. Quite often we get married to a term and it's hard to think of a different term that represents a similar topic or idea. So it's important that you change your terms to get different results.